this video, you will learn how to use the answer key folders and why I allow you to see the answers. Each unit's answer keys will be in a folder labeled with that unit number. They must stay at the location near Mrs. Miller. You may not take them to your table or anywhere else in the room. Here's the correct way to use the answer folders. Check answers and your work before you finish. You can check and see if you're on the right track. You can also check answers and work after you finish. Be sure to share the folder. Other people might be trying to use it at the same time. Here's what you should do if you notice that you got a problem wrong. Circle the problem. Then look at the work and the answer in the answer folder and try to understand what it says. Then go back to your seat and try again. That way you're not just standing by the answer folder and writing down the work that you see. What should you do if you find an error in the answer key? First of all, double check, triple check. Make sure that you're really sure that the answer key is wrong. Then bring it to me and explain why it's wrong. I do make mistakes. All the answer keys are done personally by me by hand. So it's definitely possible that something could be incorrect. Here's what you shouldn't do with the answer key folders. Don't copy answers down. Don't copy down work and don't fix your answers while you still have the answer keys in front of you. One topic that always comes up in my classroom because I have the answer keys out is cheating. Let's talk about cheating for a minute. Cheating is dishonest. It hurts your character. Even if you don't get caught, it's not gonna help you because you have to understand the skills, not just finish up your work. The goal isn't to finish your worksheets. The goal is to learn the math. Now you should know how to use the answer key folders and why I allow you to see them. Thanks for watching.